heavily distorting lens can break the professional look of your video. In general, we tend to associate wide-angle looking shots with smartphones and action cameras. Therefore, we perceive these shots as of lesser quality. It boggles my mind that I had to make this plugin and that it isn't just a standard feature in Final Cut Pro. I mean, if you want to make professional looking videos, they shouldn't be distorted. When researching this issue, I found a guy on YouTube who recommended using the fisheye effect to counter lens distortion. So let's have a look at that. I type up the fisheye effect and apply it to this clip. As you can see by default, some kind of, oh, is it on fit? Yeah, it is on fit. Some kind of default um, parameter is applied. Then I drag it in the other direction, I suppose, until the lines become a little more straight and yeah, that could maybe do the trick. I do have the radius here as well, but okay, what's going on here? Yeah, this isn't quite the solution I'm looking for. As you can see, it's extremely hard to get it right and the controls are funky at best. Additionally, I would bet my ass that achieving consistency is nearly impossible. After all, it's a fisheye effect, not a lens correction effect. So this will be a workaround by definition. That being said, let's get a little more serious and apply the lens correction effect. At first glance, you will see four sections. The lens correction, the vignette correction, we will have a look at this in a little bit, and two help sections. One is the grid view and one is show uncovered edges. The grid view, well, there's nothing really to say. It's a grid. As you can see, I can adjust the size and make it work. And the other helper, show uncovered edges, becomes really obvious once I start to play with the amount here, as you can see, everything that's red is not covered by footage. So you can assign a warning color to be absolutely aware of these uncovered edges. To be fair, I have chosen two rather extreme examples, but let's have a look at what we can achieve. I will reset the lens correction effect. I will enable the grid view and shrink the size a little bit. In general, I don't think we can correct for all of the things going on here. As you can see, the horizon is quite warped, but nevertheless, let's have a try. I will slide the amount slider to the left until it looks kind of right. I'm mainly looking for these lines here and I think I have to play with the barrel radius so the edges don't get as distorted. Something like this might work out. Yeah, doesn't look too bad. Now we need to compensate for this with scale. So I increase the scale until all of the edges are covered again. Then I can disable the grid view. And as I said before, we cannot get rid of all of the distortion here, but let's have a look at the before and after. And I think we've come quite a long way. Let's have a look at our waveforms if there's any vignetting going on. And I will switch the view to Luma here and it seems fairly okay. So I can disable the waveform and we can go to the next clip. As you can see, this one is quite extreme as well, but I think we can make it work. Let's apply the lens correction effect. And again, I will just enable the grid to have some lines to work with. I don't see white pretty well. I will change this to cyan maybe. Yeah, it's a little more obvious then. Again, I will decrease the amount. This looks fairly okay. Actually, I might have to play with the edges a little bit. Yeah, but something like this. Let's increase the scale a little bit until the edges are covered. And by the way, you can adjust the actual offsets here as well. So if you want to move the clip, you can do that. I will remove this since I'm okay with the actual positioning here. And yeah, I think I can disable the grid. Let's have a look at the before and after. This is before, this is after. I think this is quite an achievement. Let's have a look at the waveform if there's any vignetting going on. And yeah, not really. As you can see, it's getting a little darker towards the right edge, but this is rather obvious <laughs> that it is. Nevertheless, I want to show you the vignette correction. So the vignette correction does the opposite of a vignette. You can increase the amount and you can see the edge here of the footage is moving upwards. This means it gets brighter. You can see it actually quite well here in the corner as well. You can also adjust the vignette size. You can make it a little bit bigger. So more of the edges will be affected and adjust the fall off as well. And I think this is quite okay. If I disable the vignette correction, you can see that it is actually a little bright. So let's dial that down. Until so these lines flatten out, just for the sake of this tutorial, even though there's no real vignetting going on here. And I think 
maybe a little bit more down. Yeah, something like this. Let's have a look at the before and after. This is before, this is after. Vignette correction, this is before, this is after. 